every one of us uses something which is an appliance for example our iPhone or our laptop and all of them uses we know something called computer chips these are tiny chips but all these chips are made of much tiny small small things called transistors now how to make iPhone 7 work better than iPhone 6 you have to make this tiny thing tinier we have been trying to do that for many 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 years and it's working fine you know 7 gets better than 6 8 gets better than 7 but we are getting to a problem these things are getting too small and that's where the fundamental size limitations comes in so we cannot go on forever now in contrast if you look at our brain our brain can do amazing things for example we can navigate if there is a crowd and there is your friend you can just see the crowd and see your friend that's the pattern recognition our brain can do and if we want to do the similar pattern recognition with the computer chips it's just not possible so our basic idea is to take inspiration from the architecture of brain so that's the brain inspired and use that idea to make future revolutionary computer chips which will augment actually the present computer chips now the way we are doing it is okay let me give you what a nanometer is you know we i am a nanotechnologist so i work in nanotechnology and what a nanometer is you can imagine your house and a strand of hair in the house now if you imagine that strand of hair being a house itself nanometer is the hair on the hair you know so house to hair is the nanometer to the hair so it's much 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 smaller so what we are doing is we are throwing a bunch of nanometer size balls on a flat surface and when they go to the surface these balls they you know make a random structure and the beauty that we found in our uh, devices is that if we just keep the structure enough so that they just start touching you know not too much balls you know just enough that we can start seeing phenomena which is very similar to what happens in the complex structure of the brain and that's where the beauty is we can make these balls connect and disconnect randomly in this ball structure and by doing that this network of balls can behave similar to some of the functionality of the brain what we are trying to do is trying to understand how they are connecting and disconnecting and how we can use that network of balls to make a pattern recognition so recognize some pattern as the brain does so we are not in some sense making this tiny tiny transistor that i talked about before but being a random switch uh, network and use that network dynamics how they connect disconnect to work for us the outcome of this research is in some sense to understand the basic dynamics that I just explained and how to use that dynamics to make a basic pattern recognition. Now the beauty of uh, the present status in complete world is that people are trying to do this neuromorphic architecture. For example, IBM, HP, Qualcomm has put billions of dollars in it. European Union has put in 1 billion euros you know, into it and a market and market research actually predicts 26% growth per year to nearly 5 billion US dollar by 2022. Now, New Zealand is known to punch much above their weight, you know. So, with the resources that we have, we are very, very uniquely posed with the, you know, the collaborations to tap into this market in a sense that we have a very unique device which could compete with others. Now, what we don't know is the dynamics of this thing we just need to understand the dynamics how we can use because we are seeing the signatures of it but the whole thing is not known so we're just trying to understand this whole ball structure connection and uh, network dynamics to make it work as a basic pattern recognition so if we can um, uh, so that it has the potential to do it a lot of uh, money could be generated and uh, you know the future could be better than today so that's the whole idea. Mm -hmm.